I gotta say the mod bug hit me so hard. Uh, one of the things I complained about with the three was interior. So if you look in here with me, you see how it's all black and kind of boring? I decided to spice it up a little bit by adding the white and then obviously the really, really cool steering wheel right over there. And then at nighttime, there's some lighting right over here. But the seats, I always wanted white seats like the Model X I have, but I couldn't get them. So I thought, why not change them, right? So a company called Custom Covers sent me some red ones. And I figured that'd be really cool because I, I, I love red. Let's give it a try. You guys are gonna notice the coloring looks a little bit weird. It looks a little orange-er than usual, but it's more red, just to let you guys know. So these seat covers, they actually feel really good. So just, I mean, just imagine like a really nice thick leather is what it feels like. It feels very thick, very quality. If you guys wanna look at the stitching, the stitching looks good. Even the piping here looks good. So I was really concerned that it was gonna feel really cheap and um, thin like it could be leather but it could be thin right so in this case it looks like it's pretty good so we're gonna see how it actually fits on the car from the picture i've seen online it looks like it fits really tight and one of the biggest things that i'm concerned about is how it sits right here because you know you've you guys have seen seat covers where it kind of sags right here so when you sit down it's a little saggy here it's a little saggy here and i don't want that look i want a very oem look so let's see how it looks Here's the initial view with slipping the cover on. I actually went down really easy. I tried to avoid tugging it down, so I went over and pushed it down. And then on the back side over here, you'll notice a zipper. So I'll zip this down all the way. And then I'm gonna tuck these in so it clips in really tight underneath. But that was really fast. I think the hard part will be undoing some of the actual leather. Right, guys we got one down it wasn't so bad it was just getting your hands down there so guys with bigger hands you're gonna have a problem getting under the seat but if it's really nice there is that bubble I was talking about but when I sat in it, it didn't bother me at all it looks good because it's not saggy so that's the important part it doesn't look saggy when you're not sitting in it but it's, it fits really nice up here so you still retain that pocket right over here pocket right in the stock one so far so good let's continue I got a cut right here going underneath the, the car seat Initial impressions on the front seats. So I sat down and I'm resting my back and I'm thinking how it feels immediately. And I don't feel any difference, which is good because the, the point was I like I had, actually I had red seat covers when I was in high school in my in my first Camaro. And I remember like you can feel the seat kind of slide back and forth. But in this case, it's super tight. Um, I tightened it down as much as I could. It feels very, very nice. And the slack I was referring to is so minor. And the good thing is the slack is only there and you can't see it. Like right now, you can't even tell there's a bit of a, a slack here. But when you sit down, boom, it crushes in like what I'm doing right now. I saw no one else review this portion of the seat cover. And this is gonna be true for almost every seat cover you get. I sit down, I can't feel the bubble, which is so important to me because it's, it gets a really annoying, but it feels good. I'll, I'll give you guys another review in about a month, but I gotta do the back still. The front's done for today. I'll give you guys a quick view of how the car looks with the red seats only in the front. Let me show you. So this is the view right here. Black seats in back, red seats in front. And I don't think it looks that bad. I actually like this look. If you had white seats in the back, then I can definitely see why you would need to do it all red. Um, I have the red and I was like, you know what, might as well just try to put them on. I can always take them off, but I do like this look. Let's, let's install that real quick. Now this is pretty simple. There's two clips right here. If you look from around this side, there's going to be a lever right here. This lever. You can run right over here onto the driver's side. 
the lever is going to be right there really easy I just pulled it towards myself and pretty much you just yank this out now slowly pull and it comes straight out while I'm on this side I might as well show you the front seat see it's been holding up really nice I haven't adjusted anything um, every once in a while you can probably like push this in to tuck it back in but not a huge deal you can Retighten if you need to and I suggest that if you guys are installing it for the first time sit in it live in it for about a week and then go back retighten everything so it settles in because everything is just settling right now there's a few little plugs on each side as you can see right about there just go ahead and unclip those and then the seat comes right off here check it out see once you unplug it there's nothing else down there I'm gonna edit this a little bit different I'm gonna leave it as ASMR for you guys so just kind of relaxing listen to me clean and uh, watch me install I won't say too much just enjoy and I'll talk towards the end of the video I'm gonna lay the nice leather piece right on top and then I'm gonna flip it upside down there we go snug it in there oh, it's really snug easier two people all these jobs are easier two people The side panel over here, I want to show you guys, the side panel where the door is, this piece just pretty much stuffs in there and then it gets wedged in between the seat. The seat covers has Velcro, so the Velcro will sit right here, that's how it keeps it tight. Let's put this in. It's looking real good, isn't it?
All right, guys, check it out. This is it done right here. So the hardest part was getting this back in. Easy to take off, easy to install. Uh, for all the materials, this was probably the harder one because you have to stuff it here. But the final insulation, well, this was the harder part. And when I say hard, it's not very hard. Huge suggestion is the clips are here and there, right about there, is just to muscle it into the clip. Once you muscle it in, then you can try to stuff everything down in between. I was trying to do the opposite. I was trying to stuff this and then clip it in. Clip this in first and then force the stuff here. The seat belts are funky. Uh, what I did was I seat belted it in and then I just yanked it out to try to pull it out for you guys. So it looks really good. It fits really well. I sat in it. It feels good. It feels very solid. Nothing seems to be moving around just like the front ones. Here's a really nice view from the front side. Now it's fully, fully, fully red. Sorry for the long video guys, but that's about it. This is a sneak peek for you guys for the rear diffuser that I have no friends, so I had to install by myself. That's the ongoing joke that we have. It's not a really a joke, it's true. But anyways, here it is. Um, I will be making more videos. I'm pumping them, them out faster than I expected, and that's what she said. But here we go. Till next time, talk to you later. Peace out.